Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. Welcome back to my channel, me and my jackets. My name is Chris. Today we are doing a video a little off subject. We usually talk all about Arteric stuff here. I get a specific kind of jacket and we talk about it and we talk all about its features and its fit and you know, the way it layers with things. Um, today we're doing something similar but a little bit different. Um, <laughs> just recently, over uh, the Christmas weekend, we had what the Weather Channel called a bomb cyclone. Okay, seems like every year, um, you know, that we have new names for different types of storms and things that are coming through. Um, you know, we have polar vortexes now. We have um, atmospheric rivers, um, and apparently this year we had a bomb cyclone. So. Um, if you ask me what a bomb sci uh, um, cyclone is scientifically, honestly, I, I don't have a clue. <laughs> However, I know that it was a major storm that came through our country and, and created uh, you know, massive snowstorms, lots of rain in some parts, um, high winds, and it was extremely cold. Um, I, uh, I can tell you that here, we had on a Thursday afternoon, we had a lot of rain through Thursday night. Um, the temperatures were quite mild. They were in the 50s, um, which is really warm for the end of December, right? Um, and then Friday morning, the rain kind of subsided a little bit. We had off and on, you know, misty drizzle throughout uh, most of the afternoon. Um, at one o'clock in the afternoon, it was a light drizzle. 57 degrees. By around 3.30, 4 o'clock, the temperatures were dropping a little bit and that misty drizzle was mixed with some sleet and uh, snow flurries. Um, shortly right after that, half hour afterwards, it stopped. The winds were picking up. The skies cleared. And by 8 o'clock that night, it was 12 degrees with a wind chill of minus 10 Fahrenheit. So it got cold. Now that's about as cold as it gets here. Um, it, you can probably count on one hand, you know, the number of times in a year that we get maybe in the single digits or below zero. So that was a pretty extreme cold for us. Um, <laughs> the picture in my background is actually a picture of the frost that was on the window in the door of my garage. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, so I just took a picture of it, but I, I figured I'd put it up. Um, yeah, it got really cold. So Friday night, you know, like I said, around 8 o'clock, the temperature was about 12 degrees with a wind chill of 10 below. And my wife and my daughter were inside, you know, on the couch, probably under a blanket, eating popcorn, watching a movie. And, uh, you know, this crazy guy <laughs> is thinking, hey, this is a good chance to go outside with some of my coats and see how warm they are. Right? So, of course, you know, my wife and my daughter are looking at me like I got three heads, like I can I'm a complete nut. But uh, this is what I do for you guys. <laughs> so I went out, I put on my Gamma MX pants. I did have a, like a, a layer underneath it, just a little thermal um, layer underneath it. Um, I took a picture of it so you can basically see what that was. Um, and I gotta say, you know, with the Gamma MX pants and that layer, my legs were fine. I wasn't cold at all. Um, I wore this Fortress hoodie outside, uh, basically uh, because being it was that cold and with the wind chill, this has this little thing that pulls up, you know, over your face, so I can really stay nice and warm out there. Okay, you know, and zip it all up. Um, but I don't need all this right now. But. <laughs> I'll leave it here anyway. So I did wear this Fortress hoodie and I got out all my winter jackets, all my heavier winter jackets and um, wanted to kind of see, you know, what was cold, what wasn't and, and you know, kind of, kind of see how warm they are. All right. So basically, um, <clears throat> my Thorium AR 
We'll start with this one. Of all these jackets, this is probably about the lightest layer. Now I do have a Cerium LT here, um, but I wore that as a layer underneath another jacket. But as a standalone piece, um, my Thorium AR with the Fortress hoodie um, wasn't bad. This is actually, you know, I, I was warm, okay? I mean, I was okay. I will say that of all the jackets I had between this and my Adam AR, they were probably the jackets I felt the coolest in. Um, but not bad. They did the job. I was actually quite surprised in that kind of weather. I was comfortable, all right? So they, they were really, uh, you know, nice jackets. And like I said, no heavy layers underneath it, just a Fortress hoodie, all right? Um, but you know, I had it, I had all the hoods on, I pulled the hoods up tight and, and uh, I was fine. I was really pretty good outside. So the Thorium, you know, all these jackets, they, they passed the test, <laughs> they did well. Now I have to say that when I took the Thorium off and I put my Cerium SV on, it's definitely, without a question, warmer, okay? Now, this is the older Cerium SV, okay? This is not the newer Cerium SV that was just uh, introduced this fall, um, uh, you know, 2022, in the fall of 2022. Um, this is an older model. This is a couple years old. And apparently, from what I'm hearing, this is warmer and heavier than the new one, okay? So there is a difference. I'm actually gonna try to get a new one for you and do a video comparing the two. Um, we're working on that. But anyway, um, this is the older version and this definitely is warm, all right? This jacket is much warmer than the Thorium, okay? Comfortable in the Thorium, no problem with this, okay? Um, really nice, heavy, heavy um, down insulated jacket here. Um, from there we went to the Atom AR, all right? Now the Atom AR is a nice um, ins uh, synthetic insulated jacket, winter jacket. Um, not the heaviest winter coat, okay? But it is, I just wanna say decently heavy, okay? It is sufficient. Um, this was okay outside. It was okay. I did all right. Wind chills 10 below, okay? Um, it did a good job of blocking the wind and I was comfortable with this, all right? Um, so, not a bad layer to have. Now, if, let's say, like with this, with the Thorium, um, even the Cerium SV, um, putting a hard shell on top, which I did, I put my Alpha SV on top of these, um, and that totally blocks the wind, okay? And that obviously will help. You know, when you block that wind, it's, it's really gonna help the, the hold in that heat. So, um, definitely makes a difference. So, <clears throat> overall though, um, I was pleasantly surprised with, you know, how warm these were. Now, I also did go out with my Adam LT underneath my Sawyer and underneath my Gamma, uh, this is a Sawyer hoodie, and my Gamma MX. And it was cold. All right, it was definitely colder than, you know, wearing these, okay? All right. <clears throat> then I moved on. I grabbed my Cerium LT, all right? And I put it underneath my Therm, okay? My Therm jacket. Not the Therm parka, okay? It's the Therm jacket. Um, this combination was really nice, okay? Like, really nice. This was great. Um, really nice and warm. The Therm jacket here has a Gore-Tex outer shell, outer fabric here. Um, it is windproof, it is waterproof. Um, it has a light insulation itself. So between that 
and the cerium down, the cerium LT down um, underneath this. This was awesome. Absolutely no problem at all. The hood was nice. The hood on this jacket is a little bit a large. Um, you can, you know, cinch it up. There is a string in the back to pull it tight. Um, and when I did that, it was no problem. Um, also, um, the other thing I want to mention is I did not wear any gloves outside, okay? I simply kept my hands in my pockets like this the entire time. And every one of these jackets, my hands were warm, okay? The pockets were nice and warm in every one of these jackets. I had no problem, no need to wear gloves in minus 10 degree wind chills, okay? Just kept my hands in my pockets like this, walked around, spent some time outside, all right? Um, and my hands were no problem at all, nice and warm. So that was nice. That was a good thing to uh, observe. Now, wearing this therm without this layer underneath, without the cerium underneath, was cold. Okay, it definitely was cold. Um, there is not enough insulation in this jacket to uh, really keep you warm. Now, also, <clears throat> Keep in mind, I'm not outside doing activity, right? I'm not, you know, climbing up, a, you know, a mountain. All right, I'm not hiking. I'm not. All I'm doing is basically putting these jackets on and walking around my backyard for a while, okay? Just to see how warm they are and how how well they're blocking the wind and and insulating, okay? And then finally. <laughs> My Nuclei SV. Um, yeah, this thing is like, okay, it's a bomb cyclone. Here's my little humor of the day. It's bomb proof, all right? <laughs> this thing is amazing. Absolutely felt nothing inside of this thing, okay? Um, really, really nice and warm. Now, if you're interested in this Nuclei SV, this is a belay jacket, just um, please check out my video on this, okay? Because the sizing on these jackets is uh, really um, crazy. <laughs> they are big. They are sized really big. Um, you know, again, check out that video and you'll see why. And uh, I actually sized down on this jacket. Everything here you see is a size extra large. I'm six foot two, 210 pounds. This Nuclei SV is a size large. And I have plenty of room still underneath this thing to layer if I want to put a Proton LT, an Atom LT. Um, I can probably even put this Cerium LT on underneath this if I need to. Um, okay, so really, really warm jacket. This is 180 grams of insulation here, core loft insulation, um, and 90 on parts of the sleeves and, and on the sides here under the arms. Um, really awesome jacket, okay? This by far, putting this on in that temperature like I said, I felt nothing. Um, amazing. Blocks the wind. Awesome coat, okay? So, um, yeah, that briefly is it, okay? I just wanted to kind of, you know, I figured we had a bomb cyclone. Um, I figured I'd go out and do a little research for you and put a video together about what to wear in a bomb cyclone, okay? Um, but it was a good opportunity to go out when the temperatures, the wind chills were below zero and put this stuff on and, and see how warm it is. All right. So that's what we did. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you like the video, please, you know, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're into Arcteric stuff and all that, um, we are um, definitely doing a bunch of videos for you guys. I have a whole ton of videos on this channel, so please check them all out. I have a video on every one of these jackets individually. I have videos comparing one jacket to another. I have all kinds of stuff. So um, check it out and um, Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.